totally random video where I'll tell you 50 random things about me. Hooray! So they're gonna be totally random and in no specific order. I just wrote them down as I remember them. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. I love weird and obscure and gruesome stuff. A movie, series, anything that's kind of like that, I love it. I'm also pretty obsessed with TV series and I love them so much more than films because you can really create a bond with the characters. I can probably binge watch like five seasons in a row and be okay with it, <laughs> which is weird and so antisocial, but that's me. I love to sing. I've always been like a very artistic child and um, I would always sing and dance like in the middle of the street and everything. But I do love to sing and it gives me such a pleasure that I really cannot put into words what I'm trying to explain to people. I love to sing. I'm in my seventh year of college, which is pretty taxing. I was studying architecture before but I hated it so I dropped a course and now I'm studying fashion design and hopefully um, graduating this year. Wish me luck. I love bread. Like, I love bread. I cannot get enough bread anywhere, anytime I'm eating bread. I'm like... I'm one of those people that eats bread with nothing else on it and enjoys it thoroughly. You probably know this, I'm always changing my hair because I'm really just bored with it all day, every day. I love Voldemort. I love him. I think he should have won. For me, garlic bread is better than anything and everything in the world. Just the best thing ever. I barely exercise. I'm one of those people. I'm like a couch potato all the way. On that note, I am lazy and messy. I love musicals and my favorite musical is Wicked. When I was younger and in high school, my best friend and I had another YouTube channel where we uploaded our covers and vlogs and pretty much just lip singing to our favorite songs. I'm a total homebody. I'm not very social at all and if I can avoid a party, I will definitely do that and stay home in my PJs watching series and binge eating something. I was both popular and an outcast in high school. It was a very weird experience and everybody knew me because I had blonde hair and I had this like angel um, kind of curls and so everybody knew me but at the same time I never felt like I belonged there and like I belonged with those people and I felt very alone and antisocial most of the time so I've pierced my ears now like 13 times and I don't have them all I have six I'm very paranoid about health and diseases so I'm always at the doctor I've studied arts for like 10 years now and I hate drawing still. Okay, now this is serious. I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do with the rest of my life and it scares the living shit out of me. I probably also have over a thousand moles in my entire body. I wish I had freckles. I have some in the summer but they quickly vanish and only I can notice them properly but I love them and I wish I had like them all the time around here. I love cats. I love them. I love to kiss them and sniff their bellies and like check their teeth. They're so adorable. I wish I could have like a thousand cats and just throw myself into a pool of kittens. And that would not go well. I used to hate being so fair skinned but when I got to college a friend of mine actually got me into it and he was always telling me how beautiful my skin tone was that I kind of embraced it now and I love it. I love reading. I'm a total bookworm. I have no favorite color or book or song. It's just, it's so cruel of people to ask you that. How can you choose between all the things in the world? Ever. I'm a total crier. I cry all the time. I've cried at commercials, but the most ridiculous thing I've ever cried at was American Pie 4. I don't know why. I wish I was a vampire. I'm always saying this. They have the most beautiful marble-like skin and no pores and they're all very sarcastic and empowering and so no-nonsense. I, I would give everything to be a vampire. So if you know someone, please direct them to me. I'm very picky about food, but I'm 
so so much pickier about fruits i cannot stand two fruits touching even if i like both of them that just fruit salad for me is like a nightmare and i cannot eat any cake that has fruit on it it just makes me sick i hate coffee but i love the smell of freshly brewed coffee it's so heartwarming i had a pneumothorax which basically means a little bit of air that was supposed to go right into the lung went into the skin that protects the lung. This is how it, they explain that to me. And it's very painful, so then they have to put a tube in you to let the air out, and as soon as they slice me, I've heard that, you know, like when you open up a balloon and you hear like the air coming out, it was legit like that, I'm not lying. I had braces for like two years in high school, but before that I had a retainer that was horrible. It was both for up and down, so I had like this tunnel and I had to put my tongue in it like all the time and I would only take it out to eat and it was horrible. It was like this. I know that looks horrible, but I had to wear it like every day. I never wore it because it was like torture. My handwriting is like different every day and I believe that it changes like with my mood and stuff. It's it's always changing, I can never stick to one handwriting. I'm so shy and introvert that when I'm out of the house I'm always like a little bit uncomfortable. This has happened to me, when I have like an appointment and the lady is like, are you cold, can I do anything to make you more comfortable? I'm like, even if I'm freezing cold, I'm like, no, I'm okay. And she knows I'm cold because I'm shivering, but I still cannot say it because I don't want to offend people and say like, hey, your establishment is cold. I don't know, it's weird, but I'll say no and be freezing anyway. I love hugs. I love hugging people. I mean, even if it's like strangers, a hug is so therapeutic for me. I love hugging people and sniffing them and just be there like crushing bones. It just... It feels really good. Okay, this is really weird, but I swear it's true. Uh, when I like meet a person, the first thing I tend to notice are ears. I love ears and I don't know why, but I just notice them. I'm like, hey, you seem like a nice person. Let me check out your ear. I won't say that, but I will think that. And I always direct my focus to the ears. I basically grew up on the internet with my best friend. We kind of were like, two peas in a pod but in a very different pod than everyone else and I lived in a very small town I never really felt like I belonged there uh, the people I just never really got them a hundred percent so um, I basically just shut myself out a little bit and grew up in forums and with fandoms and on social media and it's something that I don't regret because first it made me who I am today and that's pretty great, but it also opened my mind to a whole new world that I wouldn't be able to access in my small town. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm not encouraging people to be antisocial at all because it's not good, but you know, maybe have a little bit of both. I'm very impatient, like, don't mess with me. I love brown eyes. I don't appreciate flowers. I mean, they're here one day, they're gone the next. If you wanna surprise me, just bring me yummy food. I do love surprises though. I still sleep with my baby sister when I'm home. We sleep in the same bed and we kind of cuddle. Yeah. I get really bitchy when I'm hungry or when I'm sleepy, but especially when I'm hungry. I just, I have no patience like overall, but when I'm hungry, I get really hangry if you know what I mean. I have a really bad long-term memory. I'm not really the worst when we're talking about things that just happened, but I basically have no childhood memories. Everything that I do have was probably based on something other people told me. Okay, so I'm 23 and I don't know how to ride a bike and I don't have a driving license for cars or anything else really. Also on a list of things that I cannot do, I cannot wink or whistle. I just, when I whistle, nothing comes out and when I wink, it's kind of like this. Raspberries are my all time favorite fruit. I went through a lot of phases in high school when it came to clothing and everything uh, and I still do that a little bit but in high school it was kind of more drastic. I was a little bit emo, I mean who wasn't? I got to the scene part as well, I was a little bit seen and I was a little bit hip hop at once and I kind of just let go altogether like at one point and just wore baggy clothes. I don't know, it, I was just trying to figure myself out and I'm still doing that, so 
I wear glasses for like reading and computer stuff mostly because I have this thing called hypermetropia where I kind of see well, I see things pretty well, but my eyes kind of switch up a little bit and stop focusing on stuff and you know, gives a little bit of a headache, so. I love wearing guys clothing. I mean, I love wearing guys shirts, either if it's wetters, knitwear, like plain old t-shirts with a pair of jeans. I just love it. Okay, so I've been telling this story a lot and I kind of jogged my memory for it. Uh, when my sister turned like seven, I was in charge of the invitations. I was 13 and I kind of put down the date wrong and no one came. And I still feel so guilty about it. Even if we're talking about it, I just end up crying because I feel so guilty. I just remember the situation and I just picture her little face so sad and I can't. And last but not least, I swear like a And that's it, you guys. Those are 50 random facts about me. And I hope you like them. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next week.